Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. If you want to win a free reading, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video that you enjoy, and leave me a comment, okay? Um, so, somebody has plans for y'all, okay? We have here, it says, show and tell, show and speaking of the connection. So, it's, it's given that somebody wants to express their feelings, okay? I'm hearing finally here. Um, we have different here. So, somebody feels like you're so different from the rest. And, of course, you are. You are diamond star seeds here, okay? So, somebody is... Y'all can call somebody's eye here. We have a uh, great company, fun to chill and hang out with. So somebody is thinking about the times that they've spent with you or they want to get to know you more and spend more time with you. Um, some of you guys could already have plans with this person if it's, you know, somebody that you're currently dealing with. Or you could have somebody, you know, of course, from your fan club from the past that wants to, you know, reconnect and get it popping. But we have a love story here. So somebody feels like it's not over. <laughs> Okay, regardless of what you're thinking, what a love it on the timer. Okay, they feel like y'all got a love story. Okay, many chapters to fulfill. All right. Now, I don't know how you're going to feel about it, though, because we got the four cups here. So, you know, I feel like somebody could have, you know, left a bad taste in your mouth in the past with how they treated you here. I feel like some of y'all, you very well could be not rejecting multiple offers here or you very well could just not be interested in, um, you know, in anybody that really didn't show you the time, love and energy that you deserve from the past here. Um, I feel like your person also could be rejecting whoever they're dealing with. I feel like they're bored in that situation or they're just not interested. They feel like there's way too many burdens. There's always something going on with the Ten of Wands here. Um, and I feel like it's, it's the energy of like somebody is just, it's like they're rejecting several different, you know, options or they don't want anybody else or whoever else they've been dating or connecting with, you know, doesn't compare to you here. Um, some of you guys could have a lot of different people that, you know, are interested in you or want to talk to you. Um, but they could feel like you're hard to get a hold of, or they could feel like, you know, you're not interested in them. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. But somebody here, they want to communicate. Okay. They want to send some type of text or, um, you know, some type of communication towards you. This is somebody that does have loving feelings for you. Okay. It says served up love will be served here. So somebody really does want to express their feelings. Um, definitely multiple energies here, but you could feel like, you know, if this is somebody from the past, you could feel like this person was a liar. Okay. Maybe they were living a double life or they were lying about the smallest things, or, you know, you just, you felt like that you couldn't trust them here. You could have felt like they were non-committal towards you, not wanting anything serious. Maybe it was like, you know, a friends with benefits situation. You could have felt like somebody, you know, definitely was like a smooth charmer or superficial selfish, or you could have felt like, uh, maybe they were tied in some somewhere else for some of you. Um, even so, I feel like you have somebody here that really sees you as their lost love. OK, they want to reconnect after a long period of time here. So it's like somebody here, they keep going over and over again in their mind, like what it is that they want to say to you. And, um, you know, somebody here very well could not be great with their verbiage. Right. Maybe they have a hard time expressing their feelings. Um you know, maybe they have some type of image that they give off to people, you know, them not being vulnerable or they feel safe not being vulnerable here. But it's like someone knows that they need to be vulnerable and to be honest, um, especially about, you know, whatever past deceptions, um, if they want to connect with you. Right. It's like you're not just going to sweep something under the rug here. You're going to address it. OK. And so it's like for some of you, I don't know, they might not even text or call. Maybe they just going to pop up. <laughs> y'all so be alert okay it says gamble about to take a risk to see you yeah somebody here is like oh, they really can't let you go here that's what i'm seeing here um they could be afraid you're gonna pop off for some of you so i would say you know I mean, I don't know, the Knight of Swords is here, so maybe you will pop off. But for others of you, I feel like, you know, you're just going to be chill about it. Or, you know, if this is somebody that you already know you're not dealing with, then, you know, 
I feel like you're not going to answer anyway. So take it how it resonates, um, unless it's somebody you do want to reconnect with. But yeah, I feel like you guys are in this peaceful Zen energy here. You could re be reorganizing your priorities, um, you know, restructuring your schedule here. Some of you guys could be resting, recharging. You could be praying. You could be meditating, listening to your binaural beats, K, okay? listening to your, your frequencies as well. Um, yeah, and I feel like the more and more you're focusing on yourself, the more and more you're attracting in a lot of different options, it looks like here. Okay, <clears throat> so with the Knight of Swords here, y'all be careful because I kind of feel like somebody could get a little bit crazy, like if you don't want to take them back type energy. Um, or maybe there's just somebody that's really obsessive and clingy that's holding on to this person here that they really feel like they're going to have a even if even if it's an ex of theirs or someone they're not currently dealing with, they feel like this person going to have a problem, you know, with them trying to reconnect with you. OK, with the six of swords in reverse here, um, I feel like whoever they've dealing, been dealing with, there could be a lot of arguments. I don't know. For some of you, it could even be like physical as well. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but it's like that's a situation that somebody knows that they don't want to go back to or if somebody was, you know, uh, being abusive in whatever type of way towards you. Of course, you know, Six of Swords reverse a situation that you don't want to go back to where you were in pain or feeling defeated here. But I feel like someone else, okay, be it Karmisha Kwan, whoever, um, they know this person has been depressed or upset without you. They know that um, this person wants to come back around towards you, okay? It's like they keep watching this person and this person is it, it looks like this person is really struggling without you. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting here. Okay. Um, and somebody, like, yet again with Sweet Talker, okay. Now, this says Sweet Talker good with their words. So, somebody is a finesser when it comes to getting what they want or getting somebody, you know, to, to flirt with them or, or to, to be open with them. But I feel like when it comes to them being honestly open about their emotions and their feelings and what they want with someone, I feel like they have, they struggle with that. Okay. Yeah, but somebody is convinced, y'all, <laughs> that y'all gonna be together, okay? Some of you guys could have plans with this person already, or somebody is just, they worried that you're gonna be booed up with somebody else for Valentine's Day. Like, I don't know. Take it as it resonates here, but somebody is convinced that y'all are gonna be together, okay? Um, but, you know, you don't have time for the secrets, right? Like, the little secrets that keep on adding, like you, you, you really going to want to know what the hell this person has been up to, especially if you've been in separation. Right. Um, I feel like whoever is around this person, they, they really are tired of, uh, seeing this person down about you. Okay. They really could be, uh, they could have been opposed to the connection in the past, but maybe somebody is trying to bring you guys back together or at least telling this person to talk to you to like express their feelings. Um, because I don't know, I feel like this person here, there's a change with them, okay? I don't know. They're going through something, yeah. Somebody here is really trying to manifest you back. With these two cards together, I feel like this person has been trying to manifest communication from you without actually having to communicate because they don't want to face rejection here, okay? Um, or I feel like when somebody was communicating with you, it's like you still were not sure about their feelings because it's like somebody was either, you know, playing games or they just, you know, have a hard time being open here. That's what I'm getting. Um, but somebody definitely could be upset that this person wants to reconnect with you here or wants to travel back towards you with the Six of Swords reverse. Eight of Wands here. Yeah, someone's thinking long and hard about some type of communication or travel. Okay, somebody could be watching you online or trying to get information about you here. Um, somebody loves your voice. Okay, some of you guys could have a really nice singing voice or your entertainers or, you know, you communicate very well for a living here. Whatever it is here, it's somebody here, it's like they're receiving some type of downloads about your connection here. Okay, they realize they let other people come in between your connection it's like somebody feels defeated when it comes to communicating with you okay and someone's going through some type of transformation within their life okay something could be coming to an end within their life that they didn't expect um or maybe they're having a hard time you know transforming their life away from a third party especially you know if you know they have been dealing with that person for a long time so take it as it resonates here but somebody knows they need to end something um or change or transform before they can actually you know um 
have a reconciliation with you, you know, or come in and speak their truth here. I do feel like somebody wants to, um, it's like they want to come in and let you know that they've changed though, right? But it's like, you need to see proof of that, <laughs> okay? Um, for some of you guys, you could be meeting somebody new and this person, you know, they just went through some type of powerful ending, okay? So for, for me to say powerful ending, I don't know what, to, what that could mean for them. Maybe it definitely was like a long-term partnership or a marriage or something like that, that they're ending, okay? So maybe they could be um, going through a divorce or maybe they've already separated from somebody else um, and they could have found out something that was, you know, that really just, I don't know, shook them up. But anyway, somebody here, we have affection. So this person is very affectionate here. So there's somebody that wants to be very affectionate with you. Okay. Um, be a new or old person here, but a lot of you guys, it definitely is an energy of somebody else as well that you've been separated or had some time apart with. They've had a lot of time to think and realize that, you know, they do see this relationship with you for the long term here. Okay. Um, now, they very well could have, you know, been clinging on to you energetically, but didn't want to open up about their feelings or be real about them. Or they could have had somebody that was, you know, clinging on to them. Um, somebody also could have been clinging on to some type of bad habits here. OK, so whether it was drug or alcohol or, you know, other type of addictions here, somebody was struggling with some bad vices. OK, um, somebody very well could have been using substances to block out different things within their life here. Um or somebody was in a really codependent connection with a third party, okay? This is somebody where it's a whole lot of cap, okay? They've been acting uninterested, but they have been, you know, um, keeping up with you, right? <laughs> well, your every move, okay? Yeah, and, and I feel like the more and more you're focusing on yourself, your healing, your goals, um, you know, your talents, your endeavors, helping others whatever you're passionate about it's like and not focusing on this person is really driving different like different energies crazy from your past because they feel like you need to be focused on them or they don't know how you feel about them here um and so I feel like somebody slipped up and said something to somebody that they were around and that person was just like, you know what, like for real, I'm tired of you talking about that person. Like, you know, go do what you got to do. Like, go, go get off your chest what you need to say. <laughs> okay. Type energy. Okay. With the eight of cups here, I feel like, you know, y'all have already checked out of any situation that you already know is not going to offer you what you deserve with the eight of cups. So whether you left or this person left here, I feel like this situation really, you know, puts you through it, okay? For some of you guys, you know, this uh, this situation with this person, this could have been very unsettling. Um, you had to regain your balance after this. It could have been a very traumatic experience for some of you, especially if you really had loved this person and they really, you know, broke your heart and took you through it. I feel like you guys are very protective of your energy. I mean, she got the onk and she got the hammer, <laughs> Okay, so uh, y'all ain't playing no games, you know what I mean? Like, you got some for that ass if they come at you crazy. So, hopefully, they come in correct, whoever this is here, because you're the motherfucking star, okay? So, it's like they could get the sweet or they could get the spicy, you feel me? Um, but yeah, I feel like you know, y'all are just shining real bright here. That's what you're doing, you know? Um, you've gone through multiple tower moments and you're healing from them here. OK, um, I do feel like you inspire this person. I do feel like you have um, inspired this person's faith as well. OK, yeah, it says hearts run wild. Like, listen, yeah, you made someone's heart beat a little bit faster here. Like somebody, I don't know, they could panic. Like when they feel like they about to see you or talk to you here, it's like they don't want to say the wrong thing or they just, yeah, somebody. They get nervous, y'all. And this, they could be the type of person that really doesn't get nervous because they be talking a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But with interference, yeah, someone else was definitely butting in on your connection here. So somebody else is triggered definitely about this person coming towards you. Um, but this person knows when they come towards you, like it would just have to be you guys, right? It says just us, no one else allowed. Because it's like you, you're not dealing with anybody that wants to keep anybody else in the back burner here. So somebody already knew you know, they know good and well that you're not playing that. Okay. And I feel like somebody that either they were dealing with, or, you know, this person could have been this way or somebody in this energy. It's like, they were, you know, bothered. Okay. Never satisfied or whoever they've been dealing with feels like, um, 
Like someone feels like someone is never satisfied. Like they can't do anything right. Like somebody is always, you know, stirring up some mess here. So whether your person is with somebody or not, I feel like they've been feeling lonely. Okay. We have loner energy feeling lost without you. Okay. Isolating themselves hermit mode here, really trying to think about their life, their decisions here. Yeah. Somebody wants to reconcile. Okay. They're not done with you. Okay. So communication could be coming in and if they don't communicate, just know that they have the energy that they want to. Okay. Somebody knows that they want to come back and fight for you, but they are afraid of your rejection here. Okay. Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like you guys are single, solid, abundant, independent, right? Um, working on yourself here, working on your finances. So your person could also be a very business focused or focused on their, you know, finances as well. I feel like someone definitely knows with the tower card in reverse here. Uh, somebody could have been trying to avoid a disaster by coming towards you, especially if they knew with the justice card that they wanted to make amends, but maybe they needed to end something legally with somebody else if they were in a contract. Okay. Or maybe some of you guys are ending something with the contract here, but it's like somebody, they trying to, they trying to avoid a disaster. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, they already know that it will be a disaster if they still dealing with somebody else. So it's like somebody is working on getting themselves single here. Yeah. Someone's not a two minds. It's like, they know that they want you. They know that they want to make amends here. Okay. Um, we have open up. Okay. So yeah, you definitely know how to open this person up. Okay. It's like to activate their heart chakra here. It has soul made. This is definitely a soul connection here. This could have been very unexpected here. Okay. I feel like somebody was dealing with another person here and it's like you show as hell ain't going to be no accessory while somebody is, you know, full, in a full on other relationship or you could have been in a full on other relationship and this person was out here hooking up a Carmesha or Quan and trying to have accessories here. Yeah, somebody got busted cheating in the past, okay? <laughs> Or they about to bust Carby Shark Quad cheating. So take it as it resonates here. But I feel like somebody definitely, uh, baby, they dropped the ball here. Okay. Someone could have had narcissistic tendencies as well. Self-absorbed, manipulative games. Someone could have got off on confusing you or your person here. Somebody was gaslighting, love bombing here. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody is planning on some type of unexpected visit, okay? Running into a lost love after a long period. So some of y'all could be running into somebody from your past, okay? Which is a recurring theme. So we got the King of Pentacles here. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody is very worried here about a commitment or they're worried about their finances or they're worried about uh, somebody definitely, you know, like I said, could be married or divorcing within this mix. Um, but the Eight of Swords, somebody feels trapped in some type of situation here because they feel like they really do want to offer love to you, okay? And they already know with that Knight of Cup energy, right, that they were in and out or inconsistent or were changing up on you in the past here. They left you with more questions than answers here. But somebody has been really watching you, okay? It says, surprise. <laughs> now, be careful. Some of y'all, it does say unwanted visits. So I don't know what's up with this person because for some of you, like, this person could be a little bit... I don't know, like weird or drain. I don't know what this person going through, but somebody very well, you know, could be trying to find your schedule here, looking around your place or moving out of desperation here. <laughs> um, wow, y'all. I don't know. I just know that somebody here, maybe you have one ex that's a little bit crazy that you ain't trying to fuck whatever again. And then you have somebody else that also could be obsessed with you, but this is somebody that they really do want to build or start a family or repair a family situation with you. Okay, so take it how it resonates here. Yeah, you're gonna have something to celebrate soon. <laughs> Most definitely. Somebody wants to celebrate with you, okay? Somebody tried to tie you up or put some cuffs on you too. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yeah, they plan on cuffing you up. Somebody wants to be with you. Yeah, we have over here sharing pets, children, business. Somebody knows that they want to share their life with you. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing here. Now, with the lover's card, which talks about a decision and the three of swords here, I feel like somebody else with the six of cups that they've been dealing with. Okay. And the four of pentacles that's been holding on to them. This person could be heartbroken or will be heartbroken. Um, with this person coming towards you, okay, 
take the energy as it resonates but with the lover's card y'all gonna be booed up with somebody else here okay yeah somebody in the mix could have been at a distance either you karmisha kwan this person here um but somebody knows that uh your wish fulfillment right like and then i feel like this love will make you happy if this is somebody here um, some of you guys could be um like I said, there's multiple energies here, okay? So somebody feels like you make them happy or you add to their happiness, I should say, right? Yeah, somebody about to start chasing y'all here. Somebody is trying to make it happen here. This is somebody that has been uh, craving your physical touch, okay? <laughs> Baby, they are watching y'all. Dang, they ain't playing no games. Somebody really wants to explore possible options with you, okay? So you could have new and old people in that mix right there. Okay, I don't know. Somebody might be a fool in love over y'all or they want a brand new beginning. They've just closed out a major cycle or they're closing out a major cycle here. Um, some A lot of people know this, that somebody wants to come towards you already. Okay, yeah, but the four of pentacles in reverse, they have somebody that's holding on to them, but they want to drop whatever that situation is. Okay, at this point, I feel like they really don't even care if it's like a loss of money or not, if they have things invested with this person, because somebody just wants to be happy and they realize they're lonely, miserable, whatever situation that they're in here. It's like, I feel, I feel, I really feel like somebody is rejecting some type of situation or you're going to reject, definitely going to reject someone, situ, uh, someone coming towards you that is not releasing somebody else here. Okay. Um, yeah, you're rejecting anybody that's manipulative. Okay. For some of you, they could be rejecting somebody that's emotionally man manipulative with the magician reversed and the four of cups, which deals with the emotions. Um, but somebody knows they need to come and they need to take action towards you. It's definitely driving this person crazy. <laughs> okay, we got mentally unstable here, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's concerning here. Uh, or they could be dealing with somebody this way. But somebody over here, like... I don't know. They losing it that they can't manifest you back or I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, we got y'all be careful. This is some interesting, crazy energy. We got fantasizing about being with you, making up scenarios in their head, telling other stories about you. Like somebody here is really convinced that you want them just as bad here. And I'm afraid somebody might pop off if like you reject, you know, like, like so be careful, you know, like if you know somebody can go that direction, don't be alone with them, okay? Because I feel like somebody could lose their damn mind or, like, get real crazy if you're not trying to uh, reconnect with them, okay? And then they got crazy-ass Karmisha Quad here. <laughs> or you could just have different people that are secretly jealous of you, of your success, okay? But somebody is definitely fearing this person leaving them for you. Okay, or somebody could be sleeping with the enemy here. Like somebody here is like, yeah, they're real nervous about coming towards y'all. Ooh, this this energy right here. <laughs> y'all be y'all be safe, man. Be careful, okay? Cause somebody, somebody really not playing about you. It's like they tried to stop thinking about you, but they can't. And it's like they they trying to put something in motion here. They trying to bump into you. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Somebody want a brand new beginning, okay? Or some of you guys could have somebody else uh, that you're dating as well, or you have somebody new coming in, um, or it's just building the beginning of another connection with someone else. But it's like you have people that really want to open up and express their true feelings to you, okay? Um, and these are people, you know, or at least at least one of these energies, Gloria Dios, is somebody that you're going to have a reciprocal give and take with, okay? Um you know, reciprocal uh, sharing of time, of love, emotions, respect, all of that here. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands reverse here. So yeah, you guys are dropping whatever burdens here so that you can have, you know, a wish fulfillment within your life. So you could be emotionally fulfilled within your family, um, you know, with your home, within your home, your relationships, all of that. Okay. Some of you guys could be healing family issues as well. Ooh, dang. <laughs> Y'all be careful with this energy. I don't know why I keep saying that, but please be careful. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys. Put me some hearts down below. Um, yeah, put me some gift box down below. I feel like you guys are going to be getting some gifts at some point soon. Um, 
put me some champagne glasses because y'all definitely going to be celebrating and you definitely have options and people that are interested in you. Okay. Love you guys. Namaste.